Okay, let's start. Um, so, um, there might have been a lot of business meetings that you've been attending recently, meeting a lot of people, a lot of gossip being exchanged, really, during these meetings. Uh, or maybe there's been some kind of event, uh, you know, maybe a dinner or some kind of social event where all of you got together, uh, you know, you met a lot of people, uh, did a lot of uh, networking, really, and learned a lot of new information about things that are going on uh, around that company or wherever you're working. So uh, there's been a lot of exchange of information and, uh, you know, it, it came from uh, this particular um, social event uh, that you've attended. Um, so you are trying to achieve uh, something and you are having a lot of problems. So you are, there are people around you or there might be one person around you coming across as a, like a, a monster kind of person. So you're having a lot of problems with this person. You're having to uh, you know, defend yourself all the time and maybe you all don't get along and maybe they're doing things that are really uh, you know, not going uh, not working in your favor, rather. So they are not somebody that's very supportive of you or your ideas, and you're having to defend yourself uh, in the situation. They, you know, they might present one thing in front of you, and then you can see the scorpions biting this man in the toe over there. So they're doing something, uh, you know, that's um, behind your back or, or something that's causing you a lot of distress. Really, it might be small things, you know. So you are looking at this very, very seriously and wondering whether or not it is worth your time. Maybe you're trying to find out ways in which you can uh, actually um, turn this person's, uh, you know, um, opinions of you around. So you are trying to work at this relationship um, with this person. Um, you are trying to make sure that they are, um, you know, you, you're looking into why uh, they're giving you so much of grief. So you are analyzing the situation uh, quite, um, you know, uh, you, you're focusing on it. You're trying to, f to find out how you can actually overcome uh, this problem or this person. So maybe you're trying to sweet talk this person, in other words. So in the past, you've been dealing, like I said, with, uh, you know, difficult situations. There might have been a loss, in, you know, in, in whatever you've been doing. You have been achieving success, but there has been losses as well that has been associated with it. So... Whatever project you, you've been doing has been uh, successful, but there has been problems as well that you had to face uh, within that uh, that particular project that you've been doing, whatever work you've been doing. And you've needed some um, some to get some advice as well, some, some really expert advice uh, as to how to handle this particular situation. So they might have been lost, and you might have gone and asked for some kind of help, some kind of uh, advice uh, um, from somebody, some kind of, some expert that you've consulted uh, you know, your, you and your team have consulted somebody uh, who has given you some, you know, really good advice. Maybe you've been following that advice recently. So going into the future, you've got some kind of trip coming up. So you're making plans to to go on this trip. So, uh, you know, you're looking at it. Uh, it might be some international travel. Maybe you're going with a group of people uh, and you're looking uh, to sort out, you know, it, it's something that um, that's work-related um, and you're going to go and sort, or sort out a problem somewhere. So maybe you have, you're doing international travel, uh, maybe you're expanding your business and this is the plans that you're making um, in order for, for you to expand or for you to travel. So uh, this is a kind of just talking about watching out for deception. This is the Horse of Troy. I'm sure you know that story where the, they, or everybody was hidden within the horse and they uh, caused the destruction of Troy by emerging from the inside of the horse. So, uh, you know, watch out. Although this project looks like everything is going particularly well, and this is probably the plans that you're making, you know, to sort to sort of take this project uh, overseas. Watch out, there are hidden pitfalls. There's something that is not quite above board. There's a lot of deception that is going on over there. Or something that has not come to light, something that's pretty hidden that might cause destruction uh, for you. So just um, you know, this is a project that you need to uh, be very vigilant about uh, because there is, you know, there could be um, betrayal going on over there or somebody not coming across, the people that you're working with are coming across as not being uh, very honest uh, and this could cause um, the project to actually fail. So just watch out. Um, you know, make sure that whoever you are um, using in this particular project is pretty loyal. So this is, uh, um, you know, something to be aware of. Uh, there could be some lies and deception and that could cause that particular project to collapse. So that's going on as far as that work uh, um, life goes. So those are the energies within those two weeks. Just watch out, uh, you know, that...
things that there are hidden things and this needs to be exposed before you actually launch and make very big plans. So uh, I'm going to do some of the main read from the Pagan Tarot. Um, I have put this deck in the description box, so have a look. I have shuffled to this deck. So, Four of Wands is talking about new contracts, uh, maybe some kind of uh, celebration, some kind of um, social event that you have been to. And that was shown in the previous read as well. So there's been something, uh, some kind of uh, event that you have attended recently. Uh, you know, there was a lot of focus on you as well, but it's, you know, there's a lot of happiness. There was, uh, you know, maybe something to celebrate, some kind of anniversary uh, within that particular job that you're working in but there was definitely some kind of social event where a lot of people got together with this four of wands card because the four of wands is about celebration it's about uh, gatherings and meetings of people so this is, seems to be um, that you have had some kind of uh, social event within uh, your job situation okay and um, you've got the moon card over here so you are working very, very hard at whatever you're doing. You might be in a leadership position and taking on a lot of responsibilities. And this is depressing you a little bit because you've got the moon card over here. Maybe you're not sleeping well as an, at night. Uh, there may be some decision that you have to make. You want to end the cycle. You want to get rid of these responsibilities and burdens. You want some help. Uh, but maybe you know that is not forthcoming at the moment. And you're having to take the respons responsibilities all by yourself. So this has depressed you a bit. And you are feeling a bit confused, a bit low. Uh, maybe things have been happening and you, know, you have no control over it. And that's upset you a bit. So maybe this has been giving you some sleepless nights as well. And you know, you're working very, very hard. You can see that. And there's a little bit of disappointment over here. You can see this cup is down. Maybe there's, you're not getting enough payment for whatever you're doing. You've, you've got money on the ground over here. Um, you know, you're trying to communicate. You can't even, you know, you're not being able to uh, relay your message or whatever you want to do very clearly to people. And therefore, you're being taken advantage of. Now, in the past year, it looks like you've got the full card over here. So this might be a new job that you've started, uh, you know, and uh, it's almost as though you weren't given enough assistance or help or instruction on how to do it. And you're really trying to find your way around things by yourself. So you're making it up almost as you go along. And, uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be any help forthcoming. You seem to be uh, getting a lot of responsibilities, but there's nobody there to give you guidance and assistance and help. And you want to to make a move from this particular post. So um, you've got the Eight of Chalices over here. So it's very upsetting. You are upset by it. You, it seems like you want to pack your things and leave from it. Um, you know, you maybe you want to go and pursue further studying. You've got a lot of books here. So maybe this is what's being on your mind to go back to school or go back and do some more. Uh, seminars or courses or something that improves your skill set and move away from this particular position. So what's in, on your mind? You've got the strength card over here. So, uh, you know, you're trying to make big, bold moves. You're trying to show that, you know, you're a person who, who showing your strength of character. This is basically what you want to do, um, you know, and you're trying to bring that into your work. You're trying to bring that into your mindset, really, to show that, you know, you want to make these things and you're determined to do it and you want to take charge of a situation with the strength card. Now, going into the future, you've got the Seven of Swords. So, if you want to leave this job, you you know there might be you know they might not be too happy about it. Uh, you, there might be some certain losses that you might incur um, because of leaving it. Uh, but um, this might also be you know a very temporary situation that is going on over here. So, whatever you're feeling might just be a temporary energy. Seven of Swords. It's not a very nice energy because it's about deception, lies, deceit, uh, you know, people doing things, people taking advantage of you, a loss. Um, but also it's a card that the energy is very temporary. It's something very quick. It happens, you know, very, um, it happens, but it moves on. The energy moves on quite quickly. So you can either decide to move on, move off, uh, but, you know, you might not get, um, um, uh, it might not be a productive move, in other words. Um, there are also people around you that are not being very supportive. And you can see that, you know, they, there's a lot of backbiting. There's a lot of uh, things going on around you that you're not aware of. Some deception going on. So something underhand is going on over there. Not quite above board. And maybe this is the reason why you are planning on leaving it. Um, you've got the Hierophant over here. So, uh, you know, you can see them burning the books over here. So you might have to break... Uh, 
break with tradition. Uh, this is a card about doing research, doing something different. Uh, maybe you've learnt a lot of things as well. And like I said, with this Hierophant card, maybe you're thinking of going back into studying again. Maybe whatever you're seeing that is going on around you is spurring you on to go and get some kind of advice, um, you know, some kind of professional advice and, uh, you know, break away from the situation completely. Leave it, leave it completely behind and move on. Uh, but you're coming across as the Hierophant energy, which is, uh, and you can see them, you know, getting rid of things that are not serving them. Uh, so something is going on that is not quite, uh, you know, savory, let me put it to you that way. Because, you know, burning off the books was never a good thing, uh, you know, getting rid of information. So maybe there's some deception going on around how this company is handling information and you have found out about it and you're not very, very happy about it. So maybe wherever you're working, there's some kind of lie, something's being hidden, something's being buried, and maybe you found out about it and you're not very happy about what it is uh, that you see. You don't want to be part of this kind of lies and deception and you want to move away. And maybe this has come to light after this this uh, particular event that happened. So maybe there's something that you've discovered within this company that's, you know, very, uh, you know, nasty that's going on. Uh, you know, something's being uh, done that is deceptive and this is the reason why you are unhappy to stay in it. And you've got the chariot card over here. So it seems like you want to move away from it. Um, you know, you have something's uh, delayed. There are delays. Uh, this You can see with this chariot card, there's a delay in plans here, a, de a delay in communication here. Uh, you want to move, but you know you really don't know how to actually get out of the situation. So you, you, you're feeling a bit stuck right now, wherever you are. And it's stressing you out. You've got the Nine of Swords over here. It's giving you en uh, sleepless nights. And you can even see there with the moon over here, you know, moon always talks about lies and deception that you're, f you're facing because it's a, the mood... I always say the moon is a liar. So something's going on here uh, that is not quite, um, you know, not honest, not not quite legal, maybe, uh, that is going on in the situation that you are in. And you've, I think it's come to light for you and it's stressing you out because you want to leave it, but you're a bit stuck and you don't know how to get out of the situation. Okay, so going to the future... <laughs> You've got the Elemental of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the World card. So the Elemental of Wands is about taking that power from the Ace of Wands and actually using it. So, um, you know, you have got this idea, you have got this a desire to actually move on. Uh, and this is now um, taking, so to say, the bull by the horns and actually moving. So it seems like, you know, whatever you found out, whatever information has come to light, uh, you are now going to be moving away from it. So you've decided, you made up your mind. This looks like a decision will be made uh, for you to move on. And it's a difficult decision. You've got a lot of rocks. It's a very, very hot thing. There might be a lot of problems that are going on around you. So, you know, um, uh, the situation is quite heated around you and, you know, you make up your mind and you decide that you want to move forward. The Eight of Wands is actually moving. So it looks like yeah, you, this woman's actually doing a assessment of her finances and then deciding about what she's going to do next. So this is probably what you're going to be doing as well, deciding, evaluating the situation and then deciding to to move on with the Eight of Wands. It's something coming in quickly and you moving off. Uh, so you, it looks like you're going to do some kind of financial assessment and decide whether it's worth your while staying there and maybe you're going to be moving off and ending that cycle. You've got the World card over here, so this is the end of that particular cycle. So it looks like you might end up uh, leaving this particular job uh, you know, things are a bit delayed right now. You're making, trying to make up your um, your mind. Things not going the way you want. Everything around you is not uh, how you perceived it to be or how you wanted it to go. Maybe, you know, there's somebody that's um, getting rid of information or things are being covered up and you're not very happy about it because you don't like the lies and deception that is going on behind you, uh, around you. Um, and, um, you know, you are, it looks like you're going to assess the situation and decide to move on or end it with the world. You might even get a payoff uh, for, for leaving, uh, but it looks like you want to end that cycle and start something brand new. Okay. All right, let me draw some cards from the... This is the um, fairy tarot. So you've got the wheel over here. So delays are over. Sudden and an unexpected good luck. 
uh, a new car or travel. So it looks like the Wheel of Fortune is changing. There's going to be some event or series of events that come in that change, take you out of the situation if, if that's where, where you want to go. The High Priestess is talking about things being revealed to you. So trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. So you've got the High Priestess over here, and the High Priestess is about people knowing information and not speaking about it. So something's coming to light. Maybe you found out something, um, and now this is the reason why you want to move. Uh, you're thinking a lot about it, so that you're giving it quite a bit of, you're contemplating it quite a bit, doing quite a bit of an assessment uh, before you decide that you want to make a move. So it looks like you are going to make a move because you've got the Ten of Autumn over here, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Take steps to ensure your financial security uh, for your children and loved ones, making wise investments or planning retirement, honoring family traditions. So before you make that move, before you make that cut, before you decide, you do need to do some kind of financial assessment and see that if, if you know it's going to be worth your while to actually move away from that situation um, if you want to end it, um, if you want to end this particular job. Uh, but you will have to do some kind of financial planning before you go, so you can't just leap into it. Um, if things are not working out, you may need to stick it out for a little longer, uh, you know, uh, keep uh, keep everything on a low profile and then just uh, wait for the right opportunity to present itself before you, you know, cut ties and move on. So don't be rash. Think about things, make a good assessment first. Have something, a plan in place first before you decide you want to move on uh, and before you want to cut ties. Uh, don't take anything very personally. You have to be very, very, uh, you know, professional about the whole thing and very logical about it. So be very, assess the situation carefully uh, before you decide what you want to do and then make it, make, you know, if you're going to make the move, then make it into a place of safety. In other words, have a plan in place, have, have a